Krishna Ring Rest Retro. I dedicate this to the throwback. Like seen a shirt in 06, ECW, one night stand, I won't hold back. Like take the remedies to battle in the backlash. 07 to one man stand, we'll bring it back to the days of Lord Alfred Hayes. All in Nash and Jade, Hollywood drops the leg. They say the days of old are the best though. That's why we bring to your ring rust retro. Let's go. Oh, guys, I am so excited. Our buddy Spencer Hillman, he said, listen, I already bought a retro for my wifey because I love her. So let me buy one for my friend Nate because he needs some quality entertainment right now. And, guys, we are here to provide that because we are going to talk about Elimination Chamber 2010? Question mark? Was there a reason provided? Yes, he was there. He went to that. Ah, his buddy see. Nate. Uh-oh. His buddy Nate was at this event. So Nate, this one's for you. Um, yes, I'm sorry in, in advance that you had to go to this, but since you go to it, let's just tear it the fuck down a little bit. You know, that's what we did with Battleground that Mike Chiari went to, and the one show BG's ever gone to in his life. Uh, and, I only know, go to Austin shows. Cool, cool, cool. You uh, went to uh, WrestleMania. Yeah, you did. You went to WrestleMania. That was real long. Liar. So you're a fucking liar. Uh, So, BG, let's say I want to buy a retro for my friend who will no longer love me after this. How am I going about that? Patreon.com slash ringrustradio. Donate to the retro tier. And then email us, ringrustradio at yahoo.com, with the show that you want to cover. As long as a wrestler (laughs) appears in it, voices something, even for a second. Wrote it. We'll do it. Yeah, we took, we're, uh, what's the Christmas movie we got coming up that has Big Show for five seconds and made it work? No. We're talking about Wait, Jingle oh, Jingle All the Way. Jingle All the Way, way yes. I think we're talking about the other movie. No, well. Big that shows works on several like, levels. It works because Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger is a WWE Hall of Famer. Nah, yeah, he's fucking an idiot. That counts. He's we a can, coward. So, so therefore, for those listening, we can do any Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. <laughs> no, 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 yes, no, no. Yes, we can. Don't yeah. set that Terminator 2, baby. Honestly, that would be fucking incredible. Let's just, we should just lose the fucking idea of, uh, making it wrestling related. Just do literally anything they'll pay us to watch. It will just fucking watch it. Mm-hmm. That's a slippery slope. Yeah, you yeah, know, I take, I take it immediately back. Um, cause <laughs> watch Donald, Titanic. Donald Ghost is like, yo, bro, I got, yeah, this, right? I got Assquake 7 in the mail. I got it coming to you. It's like, all right. A porn star tried to look like her. Bad, bad, bad storyline. <laughs> good sex. Uh, okay, let's get into WWE Eliminator. Bad Chamber sex, 2000. good storyline. Never bad sex, okay? Are you the guy who <laughs> gives thumbs down on, like, thumbs down on, like, Pornhub? I wasn't <laughs> impressed. <before. laughs> not impressed. Two stars. Would not recommend to a friend. <laughs> it's like, who's, who's leaving a review? I'm leaving in shame. I'm not staying to like, yeah, I got, I'll be sign in real quick. Like, I'm, I'm nothing and gone, baby. Dummy <laughs> uh, makes it count. Just a comment on the video. Yeah, just, I hate the flaccid penis on the man. Uh, the kudos to the woman for just, you know, sticking it out. This is like breaking it down, like, unrealistic. Pizza man doesn't deliver after 10 p.m. Um, <laughs> nothing says the road to WrestleMania like multiple championships changing hands week before the show. Welcome to Elimination Chamber 2010. Terrible idea to have a pay per view called Elimination Chamber. You liked I it when Bray it. Wyatt won the fucking title weeks before WrestleMania. It was months before WrestleMania. There was, it was a literally a month. <laughs> yeah, it was a month. A whole other pay per view in between. No, there wasn't. John Cena was. defeated Kofi King. Wait, Martin. wait. Wait. <laughs> Ted DiBiase convinced me in this opening. I think he's going to win in main event WrestleMania. I, I, I wrote that here. I thought he would have won WrestleMania. Yep. Ted DiBiase, I realize now, Ted DiBiase is the best DiBiase child. So, I mean, I feel like I appreciate him more. What the now. hell are you mean? <laughs> he never hey, Dad! To me, Dad! Hey, Dad! Hey, Dad! You never apologized to me, Dad! Like, That's a good sorry! Movie. Yeah, it's a great movie. It's in the brown box. So if you really want to understand really? what we're talking about. Oh, yeah. wow. I gotta put five dollars down. Uh, yes. Strong booze. I'm... I'm glad he's gone. WWE's better without him. That's a shoot. Who? Who? Yeah, you know it, too. Dustin Roberts hates dicks. Just want to throw that out yeah, there. Yeah, he does. Mm-hmm. He's literally... Confirmed on, on Ringo's radio. 
Now, <laughs> I'm shocked that a match with Triple H, Randy Orton, and John Cena are opening a pay-per-view. Yeah, that is true. It's you only it, crowd hot. It know? only goes Undertaker's like, I don't care how fucking big their egos are. I'm <laughs> taking this one. Uh, he's the only guy well, who because can. Because you got the greatest wrestler of all time show up at the very end, so. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, between yeah, it, it was Shawn Michaels who chomped them all. <laughs> Triple H and Cena are like, come on, Vince, come on, Vince, and Shawn just comes up and uh, fucking Vince is like, at last, my <laughs> love is coming along. It's always that same thing. He's like, get out of my fucking face, you big nose fuck face, and he goes right over to Triple uh, uh, Shawn Michaels. I for sure there was a blowjob joke. Yeah, I, mean, I, I swear to God, I danced around it, considered <laughs> it, and then walked away from it. But you brought it up. That, oh, that message board. I wish we could find that message board again. That was so fun. Triple H. What? What you heard them? Uh, that not that message board. Oh. Triple H looking fat here. At this time, he won four of the five elimination chambers matches, uh, and that's yep. just fucking pathetic. Fucking legend. Yeah. Uh, this is the it. period. This is the end of the. Pe- this is the. Uh, I'd say tail end. Late tail end of the I'm burying everybody phase of Triple H's career. John Cena, when he came out, he gives his shirt to this woman in the front row, and she just like took it and held it against her body and just cherished it so hard. And I nice. think that's what BG would do if he got a John Cena shirt. Oh yeah. Oh my mm-hmm. god. I, I have you ever just seen... imagine what how happened if Edge gave me a shirt. <laughs> oh my god. Have you ever seen how they do it in Japan with Tanahashi? Like, they hand him, like, their scarves or their shirts, and he wipes his sweat on them and hands them back. Mm-hmm. Like, that's a sign of, like, I'm sh- I'm giving you a piece of me. And I'd be like, like, ooh. Ass crack, right? he, no, he, like, wipes his chest sweat <laughs> and, like, hands it back to this woman who, like, digs her face in it. Right. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, good for her. Uh, lobster limes. That theme is too many limes. Too many limes. Oh, yeah, that theme's back. I kind of miss it a little bit. What the hey. fuck did we do to deserve this announced team, by the way? Cole and Stryker uh, are on the same team. I literally wrote here, uh, <laughs> Stryker and my Cole are not good. <laughs> horrible. I love my... Make sure for, I'll tell you what. Just be honest. Made Stop. Cole more bearable somehow. I swear to God. I was going to say, be honest. Michael Cole is not the problem here. They're both the problem. He usually is Stryker's the biggest problem. problem not on this here. One, maybe not the Even biggest he, problem. Even him and King the whole time were just looking at Stryker like, what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> uh, Cena caught zoning out in the pod by the cameras at one <laughs> yeah. point. He's just like, <laughs> he's just zoning out like, but all I could, he, you could hear Nikki being like, and I think we should put the potpourri like by the toilet and then what we should do is get pans for the other side of the kitchen. And he's just staring like that. That's like, it's going to become like a normal thing. <laughs> Stryker was Stryker was talking about uh, how hard it is to retain the title, and he called it astronomical, the odds of retaining the title, and apparently astronomical means 17%. <laughs> Listen, it's, it's oh, wow. astronomical. When I lost to you guys, it was an astronomical loss. By Every a lot. time. Yeah. Uh, okay. I miss Seamus versus Randy Orton. I'm glad I, I, I'm, I've i rekindled it <laughs> in my mind. What's my line? I liked that was one of the best things. I'm ever a, you're going to kick my ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to kick your ass. Yeah. I liked Legacy teaming up and waiting for Cena's pod to open. I like the <laughs> just... elimination chamber so much better than this garbage they have now. That is true. No, uh, Heaven in a Cell is working for me, I think. Sucks. <laughs> I know, you didn't like them teaming up? I thought them just waiting for well, fucking Cena to come out. It was fucking awesome, like, taunting him outside the, the, uh, the except pod. Except the pod opens up, and Cena still gets the upper hand and punches because him in the face. Because it's John Cena, you fucking <laughs> asshole. That's why I've been complaining for two fucking decades, it feels like. Not you know how uh, Seamus used to use the Celtic cross, which is basically just, like, the razor's edge as yeah, his finisher? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cole called it that finishing maneuver where he tossed Triple H halfway across the ring. Wow. Nice. That's, that's, yeah, that's a mouthful. It is honestly that. Could you imagine selecting that finisher in 2K? <laughs> it's just like it's got three dots after it. You're like, I gotta wait for it to scroll all the way through. Holy shit! Uh, Triple H is the most overrated wrestler in the history of the wrestling okay. business. I'm just no, that's here. mad cute. If he he is like a he is like a Ric Flair and Harley Race had a child oh. that no one wanted wow. to talk about. Uh, and put it in the fucking downstairs closet. Wow. It didn't make any sense. Michael you know Cole exactly called Cena Resort in the rivalry of 2009, and I am glad I missed 
pretty much all that. Yeah, year. I was gonna I was, say I wasn't from, watching that year. From 2006 no, I, I to 2010. Near the tail end, I started watching again. This is this is right around the time I started again. I graduated from college in two, the, January 2010, and this is right around that time. And I guess what I don't remember this. <laughs> WrestleMania 26 was the first WrestleMania I got. I watched again, and then I've caught everyone since then. But so I was watching in 2010, but I wouldn't watch like every pay per view. So for yeah. like Elimination Chamber, I'd I watched be like, Mania. I'm not fucking getting this, and I would just like read the results or whatever. What brought me What brought me back is I graduated from college, and to celebrate, I went out with a couple of my old friends, and then I went over their house for WrestleMania, which was coming up, and then you know here we are, here we fucking are. That was an awesome story. Thanks, man. Remember when, uh, I, hired, remember when I hired you and plucked you from obscurity? With this fucking STF constantly for the next six or seven years yeah. straight after mm. this match. Yeah, yeah, Imagine. I said. I like it. Uh, Imagine if that happened. I'm, I'm retroactively really happy John Cena won. Cena won. Anything else? Yeah, Why did Batista get a title shot? No, Vince hold on. We're not there yet. own Cena after he wins <laughs> an elimination chamber. Yeah, so Vince McMahon comes out. He's like, oh, you done it. Edge did it cool. We'll watch Batista. <laughs> And, this is the worst version. And he comes down. But let me say, for the record, Batista's greater than John Cena. Of course. Um, this also should not count as one of John Cena's 16 title reigns. Much too short. Uh, Ric Flair should just get the record back retroactively. No. Yep. I mean, that will not happen, but you know what? For the record, I agree. Good. I, I like agree. the announcers, they just keep saying and screaming, actually. John Cena wrestled for 45 minutes. And I'm like, what the fuck match were you watching? Yeah, the guy was like one of the last ones out. He felt, he felt literally like, almost fell asleep at one point. <laughs> just for the record. It felt like way more than 45 minutes. Yeah. The match really was pretty boring. It sucked. The match fucking sucked. I really wrote here, I have not seen every Elimination Chair match in this year, but this My is one dude. of the most basic and boring I've ever seen. Yeah. After, the best uh, spot was probably Orton's DDT on the Triple H on the Steel, which yeah. is the most basic shit. After Cena lost, he was, like, crawling towards the ropes as if he was trying to grab the WrestleMania sign from afar. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? It's, his dreams are slipping away, you piece of shit. Yet he goes on and beats Batista for yep. the WWE Championship. Sure did. Um, who? The different, Drew McIntyre defeated Kane. Uh, the difference in Drew Galloway then and now is absolutely unreal. Stop calling him. That. Yeah, pretty That's crazy right. how much bigger he got, right, Donnie? Through hard work and natural oh. fuck. Here's the thing: you want to see uh, someone who doesn't look natural? Look at Vince McMahon. Look at Triple H. Uh, oh, you know yeah. those guys. You know that's they, they they came out looking like Triple H looked real natural here, actually. Yeah, because he got fat. Because he got fat as shit, dude. He didn't get fat. He got soft. 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 And speaking of soft, where he did. Uh, the um, difference in Drew McIntyre is unreal. He's like a completely Galloway. different person. You wouldn't, if you didn't know that he was Drew McIntyre, I don't think you'd be able to tell. Yeah. So it was also quite the entrance theme for Young Drew. I like that entrance theme actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, we um, also skipped uh, Bret Hart very long jorts. Oh, oh yeah. Oh my god, they write. Oh my god. Do you know what? If he, if they were a little bit longer though, wouldn't have broke his knee. Also, well, yeah. Well, I would say, say he suffered a broken leg and then he wrestled like a month later. Because it was like a ruse. They faked him breaking his leg to somehow trick Vince McMahon into giving him a match against him. It was a really not good storyline. It was the Montreal wow. screw job too. Also, who, ba who backs out of a spot when there's a fucking limo parked directly behind <laughs> you? No, I Why thought I, no, no, I thought I could get around it. I thought <laughs> I could go, get around I it. I thought I could go through it. I thought no, no, no. I thought I could like back up, you know, fifteen point turn, and I'll like make my way around it. Evil Knievel stunt ever. I'm gonna back right I'm doing. A, I'm trying to do a lot more Evil Knievel stuff now that I own a minivan. It's a bad idea. Thank you. <laughs> Matt Stryker is in awe of Kane's athleticism for being able to deliver a leg drop. Well, you know. Also, also during this match, he said he's like, "Oh, uh, me and uh, Todd Grisham, blaster of the past, we're talking on SmackDown the other day, right?" And you know what? 20% of IC champions have gone into the Hall of Fame. And I thought to myself, I'm like, that's not that impressive, really. That's not a high number. <laughs> he said that? <laughs> yeah, no, I said that. Oh. He oh. said 20% <laughs> have gone into the Hall of Fame. I'm like, that's not a lot. Oh, okay. I thought he said that, and I was yeah, like, wow, oh, Stryker <laughs> earning respect with me, because he's totally right. Um, yeah, of course, dude. For Does that every, mean you respect me? For every Macho Man, there's five Curtis Axels. We gotta just deal with it, you know what I mean? 
He wasn't around yet. Does it, I? You didn't. It's fine. Uh, the match is whatever. Not enough. You of also story love to be told. Curtis Axel in the IC title. I just want to throw that. Curtis, out there. I wrote a song about it. We all know that, dude. <laughs> you didn't you write it. I literally did write that song. <laughs> I didn't write the music, but I wrote the lyrics. All you did was Hi, replace my the name is what? With Curtis, Curtis Axel. Axel. No, I didn't. I rapped to it and shit. <laughs> I did. Well, oh, and now we know what song we're going out on. Yes. Nope. So one day, whenever this is. <laughs> I <end>. promise, <laughs> one day, we'll never remember. I, I promise we will never remember. Uh, old, LOL at old NXT. Uh, this is yeah. where his first debuting, and you're like, okay. And now, knowing what we have now with NXT, like with War Games, and then Daniel Bryan and The Miz, is like, hey, run around with a, a with, and here, Titus, run around with a fucking barrel full of beer. There was actually, th- that part of it sucked, but when it first debuted, and they did the matches, and they had, like, the segments and the promos and stuff. It was actually a really cool show. It was, like, a different I watched concept. a bunch of the old ones. Um, it, one of my I favorite watched that guys. whole first season. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. What's his name? Uh, oh, that's right. Derek Bateman. Whew. God, the guy's was... got fucking talent, man. Derek Bateman was, like, on the fourth season that sucked. Nah, no, no, no. Bobby has no idea. No, no. They have him on the network. No, no. No, no, no. Josh Matthews <laughs> is actually good with Don Callis, for the record. Shut up. Um, I'm can we talk him. about this Gail Kim and Maurice thing that happens after this match? Yeah, still. So they do this promo. Well, hold on, but we got it. William Regal comes out and gets. Oh, scared. that's after. Where are after. you? Calm down. This is way after. Oh. So <laughs> I was watching this promo segment with Gail Kim and Maurice, and I just want to say really quick, uh, I think that after watching this, you know, don't be mad, but maybe Gail needs to take a little bit more personal responsibility for her failures in WWE than blaming everybody else. Wow. Yeah. I wrote here, damn son, Gail Kim speaks French. That yeah. was impressive. The delivery of it was not. Okay, first things first, you can say what you want about her ability to deliver promos. She's a great wrestler. But, yeah, so that that's, so, so instead of, you know, we always say, what does Paul Heyman always say? Build through your strengths, hide your weaknesses. I think that's completely up to WWE to fucking, hey, you know what? You need to work on it, but we're not going to put you in the position until you're ready for it. I mean, bad mm-hmm. talking, that'll fly. That. That'll fly in TNA, but you can't... You Yikes, know. dude! You know? Is that yeah, what fun. you're doing? Is that what this long game is to just besmudge the fucking it was a good bit. name of Gail it's Kim? Been, it's been a seven-year game for me. Wow, you don't like Gail Kim, do you? No, I like Gail Kim a lot. Seems just, like you're fucking and, blatantly She just seems to have a lot of sour grapes these days and blames WWE for a lot of stuff. Wow. Even though she was given the title like her fucking first day in the company. Yikes. Mm. Which is... Yikes. Seems yeah. like you're a big fucking coward, dude. I was... <laughs> Gail Kim, I wrote, I wrote here... I wrote here that Gail Kim quit WWE because skeletons roam free and undeserving French assholes get rubs. Hmm. Um, huh. I need to question the logic between what behind what happened in this women's match. So it's supposed to be Gail Kim versus Maurice for the vacant Divas Championship. And then Vicky Guerrero comes out. Nuclear heat, by the way. Yeah, Nuclear she's awesome. Heat. Yeah. Uh, and then she says something about, like, you guys are I mean. want her and Lucha. How so good would Vicky be, be in Lucha? Team match now. Vicky and Lucha. You don't need her. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you, talk, you sound like a dude talking about his ex-wife. I don't need her. Well, she just doesn't really fit into that. I think she'd Lucha be great. Brand. I disagree. She's better in WWE. I think she'd be great. Fuck you. Cool. So, anything else before we go on to the fucking... I said the NXT... Maurice does it. one of the worst fake tags I've ever seen. And it's disgusting that Michelle McCool stole the Styles Clash. Um... And I also think we just evolved after this match. Um... I feel like if you pie-faced your tag team partner, that still counts as a tag. It does. It absolutely does. But I've seen it many of the times. And if, if I slap you on the back or pie-face your face, what's the difference? Pie-face right. face. I'm not saying. Great points. Um... <laughs> Uh, the, like, can we go on to the William Regal stuff? You can go on to the Miz promo. That's what we yeah, go on to. Yeah, that's a very real and honest promo about Daniel Bryan. Oh. Absolutely. This oh. was the official start of the Miz vs. Daniel Bryan feud almost nine years ago. I swear yeah. to God, though, I did write that down. That is exactly what I thought as well. This is the beginning of this awesome feud that will one day culminate with one of the best promos on Talking Smack. He rolled the St. Louis Rams in this promo, <laughs> and then, and then... 
he really did tell the truth about Daniel Bryan, and what ended up happening is Daniel Bryan listened to him, and that's why he became a star. Right. Dude, you're such a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> you really are. He was his pro. He taught him everything really he knows. Are, dude, but it's cool, because MVP owns the shit out of Miz in a little while. I and mean, I like how you, you, you love this feud, apparently, between The Miz and Daniel Bryan, yet The Miz is the one with all the great moments. Mm-hmm. Uh, Daniel Bryan is the reason with uh, without Daniel Bryan's legitimate credibility, Miz would have nothing to. Without be Daniel like. Bryan standing there, I mean, no, no. Well, Miz, 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 here's without the, thing. the Miz teaching Daniel Bryan how to be a yeah. pro wrestler, the feud yeah. wouldn't exist. It's almost like the Miz is feuding with himself at this point. Mm-hmm. It's you like know? how they say like Ric Flair could have a five star match with a broom. Mm-hmm. That's what the Miz did. Right. Cool. Five star feud. Cool. 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 Agreed. That's fun. You're the ones talking <laughs> shit on Daniel Bryan, not me. So I feel totally fine in what I'm doing. I'm fine over here. I'm good too. You're just burying yourselves. You're like, no hey, you're an asshole. You know, I, don't feel like I'm, I feel <laughs> free. I'm liberated. I can just, it's like I see you throwing a cigarette at the gasoline, like, no regrets, Sam. I'm going out <laughs> <Hello>. the <ball. laughs> uh, When do we get to William Regal? Can I talk about him yet? Yes. William right Regal. now. Right now. I said William Regal for president. Edge sucked, so overrated. Uh, that's dumb. He's amazing and should have won at WrestleMania that year, Edge. And Triple H is a god. Because he rebranded NXT and made it great. The way William Regal handled the crowd here was great, too. Like, he didn't get yeah. all, like, pissed off with her, but he still rolled him. Shit's all over the watch. Regal, Regal yeah. is absolutely a gem. He's like, oh, you he's lovely a, people. He's but a he wrestling did it with gem. Such yeah, he's a, he's a wrestling gem. And looking <laughs> at him, him do this and then and what he's doing now in NXT... He's fucking incredible. He's the perfect. Oh, wait, so you didn't see like the rest of William Regal's career? No, no, no. I'm, I'm that's saying, what I just heard. Saying, Donna. Uh, I'm yeah, saying this is when Donnie first was introduced please. to William Regal. <laughs> yes, uh, man's man, Stephen Regal, bitch. Mm-hmm. Come on, that's come at William me, Regal. dude. Well, this Lord is... Stephen Regal, the blue bloods with Sir uh, Earl Robert of Eaton. Yes, Robert Eaton <laughs> trying to eat fancy. Still one of the best promos ever. Just eating beans and shit because he's from Alabama. Uh, he married what's his name's daughter Dundee, right? Bill Dundee. Yeah, I think he married Bobby his daughter. His daughter. Mm. Yeah. So there you go. Uh-huh. That might have all those facts wrong. So <laughs> very possible. <laughs> Don't way. write that on your next test. Um, <laughs> go ahead. Uh, Miz dominated MVP, and it was a great display of everything he would go on to teach Daniel Bryan about how to be a wrestler. The yep. build Miz, to the build to this Miz match also is out incredible. here looking like Ultimo Dragon with all the gold, <laughs> well deserved. The Miz. Well, the build to this match is incredible. It was literally a promo before the it match. It was one roll-up <laughs> pin on Raw. Yep. Uh, Miz is better in the ring now, but only because he couldn't get much worse. This was Dude, poop, but here. thank God MVP had enough in him um, to, wow. you know, from the from the Benoit days to, you know, make a good match out of this. Uh, and knockout punches all around, dude. I, I fucking, there's another song we could go out on. I like that this was during the thick of the Tiger Woods uh, controversy because they were just <laughs> they start talking about it out of nowhere. Yep, for no mm-hmm. reason. Because it was and a then big King's deal. like, you know what? I read Forbes magazine the other day, and uh, Memphis oh, yeah. and Cleveland are shitty places to live in. It's like what? There's a match going on yeah. here. Yeah, and I, 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 in that moment, I thought I am one day going to work for Forbes, and then fuck Forbes. them, <laughs> fuck them, <laughs> fuck them, throw ass. What I'm gonna them. do? Well, they fuck you, you actually. What yeah. Donnie did was what a lot of people accuse Vince Russo of doing. So he goes to Forbes, just <laughs> destroys its credibility from the inside, and then just fucking books it out of there. Yeah, and I, and I, have, I head back to Stanford, uh, where I'm secretly employed. And yeah, it's all, it's all a giant fucking ruse. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm just, literally, I have no opinions. I'm just the, the proxy voice of Vince. He's in my ear. Yeah, tell the tell the pair one eat shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell the Italian one is he pisses on his balls. Yeah, that's good. Ah. He would love that thing, <laughs> by the way. Uh, Chris Jarrett, let's go to the main event. Wait, wait. Oh my god. Ms. Blood buckets for us here. Stupid. Yeah, he's a legend. <laughs> he also celebrated no with old Doc Amon after the match when he was checking up on him. <laughs> Put the back on your head. Uh, Chris Jericho defeated CM Punk, John Morrison, Rey Mysterio, R-Truth, and The Undertaker to win the championship, but only after HB hey, Shizzle champion? fucking ruins this whole situation. Yeah, baby! Undertaker was champion coming into this. Jericho won. Undertaker was champion. Um, yeah, that's why I he got, got screwed out title. Here. 
But I don't know if you guys... You're talking about how Shawn Michaels used his power once again to get over, to fucking put himself at the main event, even though he didn't deserve it? He's just talent to get over. Um, But what I want to talk about is The Undertaker. So, you guys saw how he, like, randomly fucking ran down the aisle there? Yeah. And it was mm-hmm. weird camera cuts? Yeah. You guys know why? No. Yeah. Because this is when he was on fire! Yep. Yeah. Don, you didn't know this? No, I, I didn't even know this. Cl- you could go look up the clip. I'm going to yeah. totally get his, okay. his, his entrance catches thing. him on fire. Yeah, and that's why like they kind of cut away from it, and then all of a sudden they cut back to him, and he's just like throwing his jacket and like running to the ring. He mm-hmm. was on fire. Wow. Because I remember like the next night on Raw, his face was like all yellow and shit because he got burned. But this dude was a badass. He wrestled yep. after he was in a fireball. Mm-hmm. That's like uh, WrestleMania that with Triple H when he got all the burns on his stomach. <laughs> Two legends. Yep. Got and him. you can did see get, it yeah, later did in he get the burns on his, Did he get the burns on his tummy? I don't fuck him. Well, fuck you can see him, later dude. in the match. You can see later in the match when Undertaker pulls his straps down. You can see a real bad burn like on his chest. Wow. Pretty crazy. Hey, Donnie, why don't you try to light yourself on fire? I think it's so cool. There was, there, I'm, listen, if you go back to the annals of our pro fucking backyard Damn. wrestling days, uh, I bet you there was a time I was lit on fire by accident. I bet there wasn't. I bet it was on purpose. I bet everybody yeah, else that's, that's there. Yeah, that's the difference. It, it happened, but it was on purpose. Premeditated. It. My dad was there. He's like, here, use this on him. Fucking kid won't shut up. <laughs> uh, CM Punk. That kid was a nom? CM Punk was good at talking. Straight Edge Society was awesome. Yep. And it should have got a longer mm. run. It actually wasn't around that long, but, like, it broke up because Serena, like, went drinking in real life. Yeah. Or something. Yeah, well, she got so, since when did he fucking care they, they were kayfabe? No, no, I think there was. I, I think it was a blue pants situation. You know what I mean? Oh, right. She was too uh, hard of a partier. I don't know. I don't know. But she admitted that oh. she ha- she had to get herself clean. That's what she talked about during the May Young Classic when she came back that first year. Well, you should just right. played it up in the start. Like, a, now she's a, a, hold on. Get, now she's a coach. She's doing great things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She's awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Stand up on cutting a pro on everyone during the she match. She was a ninja That's... in TNA. Did you know that? She was a ninja. TNA Punk TNA. Doing that was the best moment of the entire ninja? show. Yeah, she was a ninja in TNA. Oh, I swear to God. What kind of ninja? Like, uh, she. I think you she. You don't need to swear to God on that one. I think she was. In, uh, she, she was. She, I'm, I'll look it up right now. Go ahead. Um, Punk should have told Taker that he couldn't lace his boots. He did he later, though. Damn. Good thing he. Good. <laughs> yo, he, I think he forgot. Four years later. He forgot, but then and later on he came back and he's like, you know what? <laughs> Yeah, I probably I should probably do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. But him, but Punk getting eliminated so quickly is bad booking. Punk also equals Albert Pujols. I learned in this match. <laughs> per St. Louis, um, and Donnie disappeared to look up ninjas. I am. I'm, I don't think it was her. Now, are you talking about cheerleader Melissa? No. Potentially. I, no. Because she had a few different TNA. gimmicks in TNA. Donnie has no idea. Garza, aka Mary Posa. Oh, um, no, oh no! Maybe Samoa Joe got kidnapped by ninjas. That's a different thing. Why? No. What? Yeah, you don't remember that when fucking Samoa Joe? Yeah, got kidnapped no, by ninjas? I know what you're talking about, but why would you think? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that it was Serena. No, 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 no. I think you're. Don't put this on me. This is <laughs> I you. Don't th- I, think, I think you made a mistake, Mike. I didn't. I really <laughs> didn't. Uh, Punk <laughs> saw the opioid ad- epidemic coming. And kudos to him for fucking trying to stamp it out early. I think it already was happening. In that I, mean, I mean, it wasn't. We we didn't know about it yet. I I didn't see a pamphlet about it. There were commercials. Undertaker still looked fucking good in 2010, minus the burn apparently. Mm-hmm. Um, how quickly his body just went to Duke. Well, I would say what a difference nine eight years, years later. Is. Yeah, fucking dick. <laughs> Uh, it's fine. You know what? You're, yeah. you're right because BG, I saw your body go to shit in fucking 365 days from one WrestleMania to the next. Really? Yeah, your body looked like I... shit. Your body looked like shit. You were so. I'm sucked. the one that Around got the compliments from people at New Orleans. You were the one Who? that got I... fucking shit on Who? all the time. Actually, my body. Listen, I'm. I am. My your body, body is a wonderland. Bodies. My body's a wonderland. You were. You were literally. Don't say that. Soft ever. around the midsection, and Me. you're loose. Your arms are loose. You're, the reason oh, you were, I know what this is about is because your fucking wife was talking about me in the hotel room. Oh. That's what this is about. Oh, oh, dude, well, hold on. To be fair, you were in a wife beater. And you were fucking doing push-ups. And I saw you 
fucking drooling he was, from the fucking were, mouth. No, and that he, was no, 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 no. Like, hey, Donnie, why don't you look like that? You tell me you go fucking work out every fucking break that you have. Yet somehow you come to Nolo looking all soft. I well, just want to say nobody had any interest in fucking BG in in my room. <laughs> yeah. So I can't speak for the other room, but. <laughs> That's how we broke it down. We we did a survey of rooms. Who'd fuck <laughs> this guy per 50, room? It was 50-50. It was 50-50. That's not good. Yeah. Um, that's like, a, you're like less than an IC champion almost, PG. That's 20%. Well, close. I don't think you know, man. That's, astro- that's astronomical, the difference. Um, good showing by Johnny Impact. I need his lunch. On He's that note. so much better now than he was then. Hmm. Yeah. He's just kind of, eh, back then. It was strange though that he eliminated Rey Mysterio. Yeah, I thought Ray was gonna be final three. I mean, it was and a big I moment for him. Cool to see Undertaker versus uh, Jericho when I won at WrestleMania. Agreed. I wrote that same thing. It's they never even had a singles pay per view match of any kind before. No, I and think they've they been around for how brawl, long? Like in a tag team match. Yeah. For real? Is, that's up. real. Jericho and Undertaker never faced off at a pay per view. No. I don't Not think in so. a singles match. Oh, man. I think they had a couple singles matches, like, on a, on SmackDown or something. Oh, that my God, right it. now. Do, do it right now, because all Jericho... Well, they could have done it at uh, Greatest Royal Rumble. Well, but Jericho's, the Jericho's turned into a fucking brawler in fucking uh, in New Japan. He just is a crazy motherfucker. So just do that against Undertaker, so they don't have to put on a great wrestling match. Who the fuck put this chamber together? Because the refs had to hold the door onto it. Well, no, the, the, he threw it like an asshole, and it got off the track. Why is it so easy to, like, break through bulletproof glass and break... The it's meant for bullets, chamber? not bodies, dude. So, in May 2010, Jericho and Undertaker wrestled on SmackDown for the first time ever, one-on-one. Hmm. Wow. Seems like a missed opportunity, considering they were both there for a long time. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, maybe but there was some heat. And he faced Hayden right But after shit. 2002, they were always on, for the most part, different brands. And then Jericho left for a while. Uh, how about Brand Warfare? Ever heard of it? Yeah. What? One night a year, dude. I think, that started, I, think that started, I think that started, like, around this year. Nah, 2009, dude. 2010. One night a year, dude. We all get together. Come on, soft body. You it's know the, better. literally the one night. That Raw and SmackDown face each other. Don't think about Royal Rumble. <laughs> That's your new Don't nickname. Your new nickname is Softbody. My nickname is Softbody? <laughs> okay, buddy. <laughs> uh, fucking HBK out to do some dumb shit and steal the main event spotlight from Jericho, who is honestly more deserving. Oh, was dumb. He gave him the main event spotlight. You didn't give he him, also didn't give him anything. He, fucking, he was hiding as if he was in a sewer. It was wonderful. Mm-hmm. In, I like in, to think in that fucking, he was underneath a button the ring sh- playing like Game Boy the whole night. No, because he's not, he not, not, no, not, 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 not in those yeah. boots, not in that Tetris shirt. All day. He was going out that night. He had a fucking dinner reservation. He had his shirt. He fucking came out. He's like, hey, oh, I got to go real quick. I only was paid to do this. And fucking, he just, uh, I fuck a piece of shit. Yeah, I fuck show was over at that time. For one of the best matches in WWE history, by the way. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't. I didn't even give. I didn't even give it five fucking stars. So how's this one of the greatest of all time? Okay, it melts. I don't know. Did I don't he, think give, you've did ever he seen not give? Did he not give it five stars? He didn't. You know that. Yeah. I. You know. I. Uh, Davey has some good points sometimes. I'll give. That him makes that, me believe I mean? even more that it was a five star match. I don't know. I don't. I disagree. Um. Yeah. Fucking HBK. And why two J higher on my big boot than HBK? And that's a shoot. That's not really, like, a going out on a huge limb. Okay, well, I don't give a 4. fuck. 4.75 stars, because Melt's the fucking loser. He, wow. I, what did I, they need to do to get that .25? I, I, g- I gave him 4.825, but, that, you know, it's just a little different. You know what I mean? Just a little bit different. Is I that got, allowed? Good one. <laughs> I just make up numbers. Maybe he, instead if, of if going to... make up numbers, I can, too. Maybe instead of going to, like, ten stars, that's what he should have done and like, had more decibel uh, spots or something. Yeah. Decibel or decesimal? <laughs> decimal. <laughs> you said decibel. I did not say decibel. <laughs> yes, you I heard did! Decibel. <laughs> decimal. Dude, what did you hear, soft body? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that it? Spencer Hillman, thank you so much for letting us cover this, this pay-per-view. This wasn't a good pay-per-view, really. I, I, I enjoyed... Talking about it. I'll <laughs> Two <say> matches. That much. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, it's whatever. It's fine. It just was what it was. I'm glad, uh, Nate. I'm glad you went because you got a night out and got to enjoy some WWE. I guess. But you know, in retrospect, you know, we don't. They're not all winners. It's okay, and that's okay. Uh, Mike here, what'd you give it out of ten? Mm, five. BG. Five point five. <laughs> I gave it five point five one. Um. Bob yeah, you would like this more than all of us. Yeah. You should have given it a four point nine repeating. <laughs> he doesn't know what that means. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I carried the one. I don't know. Uh, BG, how would somebody else go? It's Spencer Hillman did this for his friend Nate. Uh, how would I go about doing it for my friend BG or Softbody, as he's known in the streets? Why don't you fucking tell him? <laughs> Okay, Can I you promise, do a retro for me. I promise I won't call you soft body anymore. It dies right here. But for the record, the, during this segment, your nickname was soft body. Now, how is somebody? <laughs> it was a good back? run. It was a good run. It's short, but it was as long as Johnson's bur- title reign on the it, show. It burned bright. I'll say that much. Patreon.com/slash/RingRustRadio. Donate to the retro <laughs> tier. Then email us RingRustRadioYahoo.com with all the Arnold Schwarzenegger movies that your heart desires. Good, good. Also, good. movies that have Donald Trump in them are allowed. This is, no. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Macaulay Culkin. God. And no? Kid Rock. All his movies. Oh. And David Arquette. Let's my, watch Scream. Listen, so you're saying I can get my ball with your ball VHS out of story? You and can do a Kid Rock <laughs> concert retro. <laughs> ball with your ball. You're like, what? Well, the, the, the subtle tones of ball with your ball really accented the 90s well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let, let's go on.